A trend popping up across the country known as swatting hit Providence last night. Now we're learning more information about the prank call that was made that resulted in a massive police response. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to the police chief about the strain these prank calls puts on law enforcement. She joins us now live in studio with the details. Anita? Well, Mike, dozens of Providence police officers rushed to a home last night after a caller, caller said there was a potential homicide. Turns out the home was empty. Now the police chief says he wants the penalty for these so-called swatting calls to be more severe. The call came in around 10 o'clock Wednesday night. Uh, they got a party saying the report of two people possibly shot. The police chief said it came in as what's called a code one call, prompting a massive police response. The coordination between the department captured on police radio. Party saying he's in possession of a handgun and wants to harm himself. Other homes on Rowley Street were also evacuated as a precaution. Turns out the home they were called to was empty. Police say it's what's known as a swatting call, a hoax. One small move by somebody in that home or, uh, you know, so who's at risk? Fellow family members, neighbors, and of course, public safety. On a state level, someone found guilty of doing this could face up to one year in prison and a $500 fine. Other state or federal charges could also be applied. But Providence Police Chief Hugh Clements wants there to be a tougher penalty. I mean, if we had extra resources, like you say, taken away from other duties in the city, somebody should be responsible for that. 12 News law enforcement analyst and former colonel of the state police, Stephen O'Donnell, says swatting is something becoming more common across the country. So there's a way that can law enforcement hopefully can track where the information came from, and we do, they make a major issue of it as they should. Now the police chief says they have a lead on a suspect, someone younger in age. Their investigation remains ongoing. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.